Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleanor and today I'm doing my June wrap up and I cannot believe we're halfway through the year. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this year's flown in and we're still on lockdown here in Scotland technically and it, it's crazy to think that it's been six months since the start of 2020. Absolutely boggles my mind. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I read five books this month and it was a bit of a weird reading month for me. <laughs> um, the first two books I read were Every Heart or Doorway and Beneath the Sugar Sky by um, Sean McGuire. So this was a reread for me. Again, I reread this series an awful lot. I just love this world and when I'm feeling like I need a little pick-me-up for a wee quick read of something that I love, I reread these. So I, re I read these at the start of the month and I won't go into too much detail about them because I've read them a lot on this channel and I'm sure you're sick of hearing about it. Um, but both these books are about the idea that when children go to other worlds, like in Alice in Wonderland or like in Narnia, they go through to these other worlds, what happens when sometimes these children come back into our real world? Um, some of them are so eager and desperate to get back to their where they think their place is and they've been changed slightly and they're lost. So they end up at Eleanor West's home for wayward children and their parents think that this home is trying to help them move on from their experience and thinking that they've just been traumatised or runaways um, but actually the school is trying to help them find these lost worlds again and return to their proper home. I love the series. Um, they're quite short novellas and each one is following um, perhaps a different world so each one um, is following a different person going through to their world and their experience of being in that world I should say. <laughs> um, so I'd highly encourage you to pick up the first few because they, as I say they are novellas so they're quite quick reads. The next book I read was Fell Side by M. R. Carey. I have a whole video just talking about this book by itself so I'll leave that linked below and encourage you to watch it if you're looking for more information. This is a book following a young woman who um, is in a house fire. A young boy dies and she gets convicted of his murder and she ends up in a women's prison called Fellside. So it's her journey trying to work out whether she actually was responsible for this murder. Um, she also has an amnesia so she's trying to remember that as well. She's had a little bit of a weird spiritual um, encounter so she's trying to work out what that is. Um, is that just her me mental state deteriorating because of what's happened to her because she was severely burned or is there something more going on? It's also following other people in this jail so other women who um, have lots going on. There's a big um, a lot about drugs and about the state of the prison and everyone here is just quite messed up. Everyone has problems. There's a lot going on and it was a very, very strange book. I've never read about prison before um, and the women's prison in particular and I just talked a lot about people's mental health and state of mind and I wouldn't hope there was never a jail out there who had all the problems that this jail does but it does raise a lot of questions about rehabilitation and um, how much support these people have and for staff members alike and I just thought it was a really interesting story to read. I do think it was a bit too long, it didn't need to be this long um, and it was a bit slow to get to the main crux of outcome, like the outcome happened in the last 50 pages and I think there's like 200 pages in the middle that were a bit slow and meandering and a bit pointless in my opinion. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in reading it, I would definitely encourage you to pick it up. The next book I listened to an audiobook and it was Life As We Knew It by Susan Beth Pelfer. I picked this up, I borrowed it from the library, I should say, sorry, and listened to an audiobook. And this was, I don't want to say fun read because um, it's a kind of um, dystopian story. Um, there was an asteroid and it's knocked the moon out of orbit and it's causing all these um, natural disasters and the world kind of just crumbles and shuts down and it's about this family um, who are locked in their home, they're trying to keep warm, they're trying to survive with what little food they have and it's quite an emotional read. Um, 
it's written in diary entries um, of this young girl and it's about her experiences going through this and her trying to come to grips with how this has affected her family. You very much feel like you're in Miranda's head because it's written in a diary format. It's just her outpouring of emotions with what the current situation is doing to her and her family and it's just very much from start to finish just this whole family's experience and it spans like a year and a half and it's quite moving and it may be quite upsetting for some people to read um, because this is something that maybe the moon get knocked out of orbit and maybe that won't happen but because it was very much natural disaster instigated um, people might find this actually quite upsetting um, but yeah I actually I really enjoyed it and I thought it was really well done um, you really empathise with these characters and I think there was a lot of good logic used um, it wasn't like overly ridiculous in terms of how things happened they stockpiled some food and stuff they were gathering wood they were getting water it was just all very logical I could say in a story like that um, it wasn't too fantastical and out of this world like and that's what made it a bit more harrowing because it kind of felt like that was real and it could happen and that it, yeah I just thought it was really well done and the last book I read this month was We by Yu Vinegar Zamtaya. I butchered it again. Um, it's a Russian name, can't pronounce it. I've done a whole review video about it just by itself, so I'll leave that linked below as well. This is a dystopian slash utopian novel. Um, a thousand years in the future where the world exists as this one state. They live in a glass world, everything's transparent and everyone can see what everyone's doing and everyone works in unison for the good of the one state. And you're following this character, um, D-503, who is a builder of this ship called the Integro and it's their ambition to reach the stars and other alien lives and explain and basically spread the word, their brilliant utopia, world the one state, and kind of convert these other alien species to their way of living. Um, I won't go into more detail because my review does that. I talk a bit more about how I feel like the book was. Um, and yeah, so that's everything I read this month. It was a wee bit all over the place. <laughs> There's still a couple of days left in this month, but I'm still reading um, A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, if the, the Hunger Games prequel. I've been reading it for a wee while, it's taken me a fair bit to get through it, so I'm still reading that and I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> but this month was filled with um, rereads for me <laughs> and some short books, so I'm hoping July fares better for me in terms of my reading. And as usual, I'll show you my bullet journal and my reading journal. Um, so this is just the books I read, what I rated them and how much I read each day. It was, wasn't like fantastic month for me so I'm hoping I'll do better in July <laughs> and that's everything I read in June and thank you for watching and let me know if you've read any of these books and we can start a conversation in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you like the videos I make thank you and I'll see you in the next video